Direct, and today I'm going to do yet another unboxing of the lift chair. This here is the Pride Mobility Viva Lift Elegance model PLR975L. This is the large. So we're going to begin unboxing this unit. All you're going to need to do is to score the tape. Make sure that you do not cut into the box. You don't want to cut any of the fabric. So delicately, I'm going to open up my utility knife. And I'm just going to nick the corner here so that I can stick my fingers in and just break the box. I'm not going to need my utility knife anytime soon, so I'm going to go ahead and put that away. As we open up the box, you can find a piece of cardboard and your instruction manual right on top. Now, as the chair is in the box, you're going to notice that the chair is in upside down. So, what we actually do here is we make it easier for us, is we're going to flip the box so that we can pull the lift chair out. So, we're just going to simply lift it over. So now that we've got the box on its side, it's time to take out the lift chair. Uh, I got Sergio in here because it's going to require two people to get it out. It's pretty snug in the box. So one person can hold the back while the other person pulls the chair out. Just like so. So now that we have the chair out of the box, we're going to go ahead and start to unpack it. So as you see, there's plenty of foam. This is the back. And what we're going to do is keep this nice and clean. We're going to take this padding, put it on the floor, put that right there. Okay. Now we have more padding, and we also have. Our side panels for the back. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish taking this off. Perfect. Now we've unwrapped the chair and it's packaging. Let's now start to think about putting this thing together. So the Elegance is really nice. It's very simple to put together. Very easy, no tools required. So here are the back bolsters. Right here we have our line hookups for our motors for the chair. And you have your wire harness for your remote control. All right, I went ahead and turned the chair around so you get a, get a better view of what I'm doing here. There's a wire harness that's going to be wire tied to the frame. I've already undone it. This is gonna go to the battery transformer and the power supply. On the underside of the chair, you're gonna find a red bag and it's got this little tail on it. You have to lift up the chair and cut the zip ties holding the bag in place. One, two zip ties, and our hardware bag. Inside of the bag, we're going to find a couple things. One is going to be the lithium battery and the hand control. So here's our hand control. I like to just lay it right up the middle and connect the black wire harnesses together, just like so. We also have our battery backup. One end plugs into the battery and the other end plugs into the wall. I'm going to put this off to the side. 
as this will plug into this unit and we're going to move the chair but I'm going to go ahead and plug it in for you. And just remember this end plugs into the wall but we're going to do that as our last step. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the back of the chair. What I like to do is lay the back flat face down and have the wires at the back. Just like so. Now we can come to the back of the chair and begin to hook up our wires. Yellow to yellow. And gray to gray. Okay. Now that we've connected the chair, we can begin to place the back into the tracks with the base of the unit. As you can see, you have the female slot here and the male slot here on both sides. So again, there's a little bit of play. What I like to do is just simply slide it back, get one side in, do the same on the other side, just like so, and let the chair do the work. Let it go all the way down to here, click on each side. Fully installed. You can also do a test and pull up on each side to see if it locked into position. It's not going anywhere. Now we have our bolsters, which go onto the back side of the chair. They're labeled with ones and twos. So just match up the corresponding number. That's a two. This is a one, so it's going to go on the other side. We've now completely set up the lift chair. So let's clean up a little bit of this mess. And we're gonna give a little demonstration for you. All right, now that I have the lift chair out and set up, I'm gonna give you a brief demonstration on how it works. Keep in mind, this is a 400 pound weight capacity lift chair. It's very neat. To put the chair in the up or ready to be seated in position, just bring the chair all the way up. This is what it's designed for. It's to help you to get out of the chair. So you don't want to be sitting plopping into the chair. It's just not, it's not good for it. So it's designed to be up like this. And we're going to go ahead and take a seat. And we just press the down arrow. This is going to allow us to get in the seating position. The up button moves the chair up, and the down button makes the chair go down. So now that we're in the seated position, we have unlimited control of what we can accomplish here. We can adjust our headrest, and as you can see, the headrest is articulating, bringing me forward and back. We can adjust the lumbar, there's a support in the back of the chair. It's going to noticeably make it more firm or soft, catered to your liking. And we can also control the back rest and the leg rest separately. So for instance, I want to bring my feet up from the seating position. I want to go ahead and make my legs go up. I can stop at any point bring them down, put them wherever I want. Now I want to get kicked back a little bit and take a nap. I'll press the back. 
and I can stop wherever I want, or I can just go back for a nice cat nap. All right, guys, and as always, if you have any other questions about our products, visit mobilityscootersdirect.com. And as always, our products ship free and they're tax free. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.